Good afternoon, welcome to my laboratory. Um, this is the Micro Quig. All set up, ready to go. I've replaced the IRF 830s with the original IRF 3205s, and it does make a significant difference in the performance of the thing. But I found out that uh, the uh, full size Quig has got to have its core conditioned by the spark gap sparking um, before it will work to produce over unity. Now even though I have uh, lots of over unity and VARs already um, I just want to do things right. But as you can see I don't actually have a core. I have air cores in, in, in my Quig. Um, Okay, so uh, as I've demonstrated before, I have uh, the receptor or TK transverter is now powering this little fan. And uh, oh, I just knocked off one of the connections to the fan here. Let's see. Oops, little clips. Well, anyway, let's get rid of that. Uh, so you see that, and here's the LEDs on a loop stick that it's powering. You can see that those are brighter than they were before even though we have uh, the same input voltage. Right? There's our input voltage and our input current, straight DC. Okay. So it took me a while to figure out how to uh, spark condition uh, my air core, uh, but I did. I figured it out. Oh, those are so bright you can't even tell that they're on, can you? Because the because uh, they're so washed out. Uh, I got to monitor the the heat on the current viewing resistor. I should probably take that out. It'll make it work even better. But anyway, to condition the core, I came up with this. This is a, a loop stick, uh, and I've got it tuned by the inductor, or by the core, to about five microhenries, or five millihenries, I mean. So in order to resonate at around 303 kilohertz, then you need about 50 picofarads of capacitance. So there's two uh, nice uh, mica caps of, uh, each of them is 33 picofarads, and they're in parallel, so that's about 66 picofarads. And then I did some fine tuning here. And then there's an ultra-fast 4007 and a capacitor, and this is a neon, NE2 neon, that I've got on there just, just not, ow, there's some, some charge on the cap. So my neon is actually not, uh, not soldered on there, I just have it dangling on there, right? Okay, so here I'm conditioning the core, conditioning my air core with sparks. I hope you can see those on the video. Can you see the bright purple flashes in the neon? Now earlier I measured the voltage on this capacitor. That's only a 160 volt capacitor. I, I miscalculated. I, oh, look at that. I should have put in, there There we've got a little bit of a resistance now, and so the thing isn't arcing through the neon, it's actually got a little resistance built up on where the neon is connected. So now we have a glowing neon instead of a blowing one. But if I loosen that up again, I should be able to get back to the sparking. Alright, that's it for that demonstration. Thank you for watching.